Greetings, human beings around the world. Today, I will be doing things a little differently. As I said in my previous video, I am starting to introduce new things that I practice, that I do on the low key, that has helped me enhance my life because this channel is relatively new, just a year old and still growing and I'm not going anywhere. So today I will be putting a little spin and doing things differently. Today, I'm going to be talking about two powerful gemstones, tiger's eye and hematite. All about these gemstones, their property, the, how they work at an electromagnetic level in terms of minerals, the healing properties that it has within the chakra system, the subtle body and how we can utilize it specifically for enhancing courage, enhancing self-esteem. If you feel like you are lacking self-esteem, lacking courage, lacking that just drive to get up and get things just done, manifesting, lack of manifestation, tiger's eye is incredibly powerful for that. Hematite, very protective, very magnetic. It's also good for protection, both of these crystals. So I'm gonna be talking all about them and I am going to make some jewelry here for you in this video, utilizing specifically hematite and tiger's eye. Been making my own amulets and talismans for quite some time. As you all know, I utilize these elemental tools, elemental materials to make my jewelry so that I can put intention and charge them, consecrate them by earth, by fire, by water, by air. So this is specifically for bringing protection in your life. So if you're lacking motivation, you're lacking drive, you're lacking self-esteem, if you feel like you're getting psychic attacks, that you're constantly having bad luck, attracting negativity. Maybe you feel ungrounded and up in the heavens, in the cosmos, like a lot of air element, you know, individuals who have a lot of air to help you ground yourself and activate the root, the Muladhara and the Manipura, the Hatha Chakra, which they relate a lot to these specific crystals. So we're talking about the lower chakras that connects us to the carnal, to the earth, that brings us abundance protection. Here is a beautiful tiger's eye that I have in my collection. And I just want to show you guys a genuine tiger's eye, beautiful gemstone that I have that I use for my healing, for all of the above. This is the biggest that I have of hematite, but I have a whole glass jar full of them. So this is hematite. It's very dense, heavy, reflective, magnetic. And I also have a big necklace that hangs on my door to protect. So these two, hematite and tiger's eye are a great combination. If you need some extra protection, if you need to build your self-esteem, to gain some courage when we're going through hardships. These are great. So we're going to do some jewelry today. I'll show you my jewelry. Of course, you guys know I make my jewelry. My bird, my African gray, Phoenix Rising, who's next to me right here. So you might hear him. But these are his magnificent, beautiful tail feathers. And if you see here, this one has a hematite. So they both have hematite. I made these both. I also made this beautiful amulet that inspired me to do this video. So this little tail is my jewelry signature. It's my little snake tail. So this beautiful amulet has, starts with a hematite bead, a small tiger's eye, a bigger tiger's eye, beautiful, another little tiger's eye, and 
finishes up with another hematite all wrapped in copper wire. Why? Because copper wire is magnetic. It's electromagnetic. The more copper wire you wear, it almost serves as an organite, if you will. So it protects you from damaging electromagnetics like microwave and 5G, whatnot. <laughs> so that's why I like to wrap in copper wire. So most of my jewelry that I wear, if they're not real gold, real silver they're gonna be copper wire <laughs> and they're gonna be real crystals everything that i use are real genuine stones and crystals okay so i'll show you this beautiful earring that i made with two of phoenix feathers because african grays are gray mostly and their tail is the only thing that is that deep orangey i would say but this one has two tiger's eye and a hematite in the center and it's quite beautiful to wear as a single you know feather one and make pairs or make single ones sometimes i only wear one but very protective and very lively it's just like the tiger's eye <laughs> i created these beautiful ones already so there's that beautiful and the way i make them is you just you can get like me, I have a copper wire chain that I buy. You can just put them here. <laughs> when it comes to like working with copper wire, I've been making jewelry since I'm a teenager, but just working with copper wire, specifically wrapping crystals with copper wire, I'm relatively new at it. So be patient with me. <laughs> So I have here in my little library, the Crystal Bible. Highly recommend this one if you want to know all about crystals and gemstones. So today I will be reading for you just, you know, some details on these crystals. So we're driving deep. So let me put my glasses on for this one. All right, let's start with... Hematite. Hematite colors are silver and reddish appearance, brain like, red or gray when unpolished, shiny when polished, heavy, all sizes. Very common. And the source Britain, Italy, Brazil, Sweden, Canada, and Switzerland. Attributes Hematite is particularly effective at grounding and protecting. It harmonizes mind body and spirit used during out of body journey it protects the soul and grounds it back to the body this stone has a strong yang element and balances the meridians it dissolves negativity and prevents negative negative energies from entering the aura restoring peace and harmony to the body hematite is said to be beneficial for legal situations Psychologically, hematite is strong. It supports timid women, boosts self-esteem and survivability, enhances willpower and reliability, and imparts confidence. The stone removes self-limitations and aids expansion. It is a useful stone for overcoming compulsions and addictions. Hematite brings attention to the unfulfilled desires that are driving life. It treats overeating, smoking, and any form of overindulgence. Hematite helps you to come to terms with mistakes and accept them as learning experiences rather than disasters. Mentally, hematite stimulates concentration and focus. It enhances memory and original thought. It brings the mind's attention to basic survival needs and helps to sort out problems of all kinds. This is useful stone for the study of mathematics and technical subjects. Physically, hematite has a powerful connection with blood. It restores strengths and regulates the blood supply. It can draw heat from the body. The healing properties. Hematite aids circulatory problems such as 
Raynaud's disease and blood conditions such as anemia. It supports the kidneys in cleansing the blood and in generating tissue. Hematite stimulates the absorption of iron and the formation of red blood cells. Did you know that? It treats leg cramps, anxiety, and insomnia, and aids spinal alignments and fractures. Used as an elixir for fevers. Best positions to place and for healing. Base and top of spine to facilitate spinal manipulation. Hold or place as appropriate for healing or calming. Hematite should not be used where inflammation is present or for long periods of time. Take note. And that was hematite. Let's see now tiger's eye. Tiger's eye come in brown, yellowish, pink, blues, and reds. Appearance is banded, slightly shiny, often small and tumbled, easily obtained. Sources, United States, Mexico, India, Australia, and South Africa. Attributes, tiger's eyes combines the earth energy with the energies of the sun to create a high vibrational state that is nevertheless grounded, drawing the spiritual energies to earth. Placing it on the third eye, it enhances psychic abilities in earthy people and balances the lower chakras, stimulating the rise of the Kundalini energy. Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is a protected stone that was traditionally carried as the talisman against ill wishes and curses. It shows the correct use of power and brings out integrity. It assists in accomplishing goals, recognizing inner resources, and promoting clarity of intention. When placed on the navel chakra, which is the third chakra, the solar plexus, Tiger's eye is excellent for people who are spaced out or uncommitted. It grounds and facilitates manifestation of the will. Tiger's eye anchors change into the physical body. This stone is useful for recognizing both your needs and those of other people. It differentiates between wishful thinking about what you want and what you really need mentally. Tiger's eye integrates the hemispheres of the brain and enhances practical perceptions. It aids in collecting scattered information to make a coherent whole. It is helpful for resolving dilemmas and internal conflicts, especially those brought about by pride and willingness. Tiger's eye is particularly useful for healing mental disease and personality disorder. That's right. Physiologically, tiger's eye heals issues of self-worth, self-criticism, and blocked creativity. It aids in recognizing one's talents and abilities, and it supports an addictive personality in making changes. Emotionally, tiger's eye balances yin yang and energizes the emotional body. It alleviates depression and lifts moods. Healing properties, tiger's eye treats the eyes and aids night vision, heals the throat and reproductive organs, and dissolves constrictions. It is helpful for repairing broken bones. The position for healing would be to wear it on the right arm or as a pendant for short periods. Position on the body as appropriate in healing. Place on the navel chakra for spiritual grounding. This is the typical gold tiger's eye that most people know about, right? It's gold. But today I will be wrapping one that is red. So this is what a red tiger's eye look like. This is a red one. We'll be making a red one. So let's see what each one means. Gold's tiger eye aids in paying attention to detail warning against complacency. It assists in taking action from a place of reason rather than emotion. Gold's tiger eye is an excellent companion for tests and important meetings for the interview. That's right. Red tiger's eye. It is a stimulating stone that overcomes lethargy. A lot of us need that, don't we? And provides motivation. In healing, it speeds up 
a slow metabolism and increases low sex drives. There is also a blue tiger's eye as well as a hawk's tiger eye, which is quite dark. I'm getting it. The lectures on these crystals is over now. By the way, the cool music in the background, Chill Step Mix 2019. Two hours of music, check them out on YouTube. The channel is called Mix Hound. They have incredible mix that I'm really digging. I've just been just jamming them. Anyway. Copper wire is an incredible conductor to make jewelry with. So I'm just first gonna make my little signature snake. Now that we have my little snake and these are all the tools that I need for this one big red tiger side, two small, two small gold ones and two hematite. Now the hardest part. Thank you. 
goes in the chain and this is how this one will look and that is how I make my pendant this red tiger saw is absolutely beautiful I think both are quite lovely here's the yeah, gold tiger saw here's the red one Beautiful. I won't make an earring today, but if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Post it in the comments so that I can do more. And then next time, maybe I will show how I make my earrings. I do not have a shop for my jewelry yet because they're just talisman like that I bless and I make with specific healing properties for myself and I gift it to my family members and friends and I do do energy exchange so if there's anything that you're offering that I might be interested in and you want to exchange in some jewelry custom made only or if you're very interested and you really love and you say hey I'm really interested I really do need some protection some you know boost in self-esteem or whatnot and um or i have all sorts of beads of all kinds of crystals of that resonate with all nine chakras in the body so even if you want something custom made i only sell jewelry that is custom made so you would have to hit me up you can just send me an email there on ancientlightinsights at gmail.com and I will get to you and we can talk about what exactly you are looking for, get you jewelry, things that you like. I can modify the size, make them smaller. You can have a set of necklace with earrings like what I have. Maybe you're a man, you want a more longer, more big, you know. These chains are great because I just literally put them small, but you can make them they're really long and just lay down and for the long ones for the man very masculine but for females just putting it a little bit higher looks more feminine so either way if you're interested hit me up and let me know and see you on the next one ciao ciao ciao